Yeah. Oh, God. You have to try these little square ones, Tasha. They're so good. This is the best gig we've ever had. Val, we're guarding a candy recipe. Grandma's chocolates are not just candy, okay? Her super secret recipe has been in their family for 40 years. Every time I think of little Grandma Koshin passing away, it's just so sad. It's like my own grandmother. Mm, you know what they say, good chocolate stimulates the brain's pleasure centers. It's like having sex. Ooh, in that case, here, have the whole tray. Knock yourself out. Are these the grieving kids? That's Bernard. He runs day-to-day -day operations. And his twin sister, Rhonda, she yes. heads up marketing. Apparently very popular with the workers. And one of them's about to become very, very rich. Which kid the mother left the company to? Guess we're about to find out. You all know how much I hate to waste time, so let's get right down to business. It's been a thriving family business since my grandmother's day, and I intend to keep it that way. So fasten your seatbelts. I hereby bequeath the company known as Granny's Chocolates to my son Bernard. Oh, yes. Okay. And my daughter Rhonda as equal partners. Now, since I know that you both don't trust half the secret recipe to you, Rhonda, and the other half to you, Bernard. The only downside to being dead is I can't see your faces. Oh, well. My lawyer's got all the instructions. Complain to him. Excuse me? Cute kids. Looks like someone needs a chocolate kiss. <laughs> Take Miss Goshen, my condolences. Thank you. I represent certain interests. They are prepared to make you a very generous offer for your candy business. It's not for sale. Huh. Oh, but I think it is. You see, if you were to turn down my associates, you could find yourself very infirm. Ah. Hey, yeah. Oh, Thuggo, please put an eye out. Okay, look, I don't want any trouble. Remember, accidents happen. Wow, these chocolates really are dangerous. Thank you. No problem. We're going in more than just a recipe. Farms nestled in the San Fernando Valley, home for almost half a century to Granny's Chocolates. Made with love in our home for yours. It's corny, I know, but that's the way that Mom saw life. Oh, God, I didn't know little towns like that existed anymore. They don't. Val's a promo team. Oh, no. No, that's just it. Granny's Chocolates really is like a family. Sure it is, Miss Goshen. Rhonda, please. Rhonda. Now, don't you see why I can't sell the company? All those people would be out of jobs. Oh, no, you can't let anything happen. I haven't had the VIP tour of the chocolate factory yet. Is it true that mocha coconut was made purely by accident because it's coconut? Mother would listen to anyone's good idea from the janitor on up. Um, excuse me, Miss Goshen. Rhonda. We were hired to guard a candy formula. It's my understanding that two halves of that secret formula will be delivered to you and your brother by armored car. After that, what happens to the company? It's none of our business. Of, of course. Of course, you're right. I just... Mr. Williams it's came quick. to my rescue. It's quick. I... I just thought I might need some protection, that's all. Well, I, as long as we're on the payroll, it wouldn't hurt to check things out. Have you ever seen that punk who threatened you before? You know, I'm no Angela Lansbury, but your brother, Bernie, didn't seem very happy when he found out he had to share that with you. Oh, no. But, but, you know, Bernard drinks money, but I can't imagine him sinking that low. Tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll poke around a little, see what we can find out. In the meantime, how do we stay in touch? I mean, for your safety, of course. My home number? better already.
Well, don't you worry, Rhonda. VIP is on the case. You know what I like? I love those little chocolate coffee mugs you have. Poking around? What? I'm just keeping the client happy. I was buried yesterday. Uh-oh, ease up. I'm sure Granny Goshen would have wanted us to protect her daughter, too. If Rhonda's telling the truth, so far we've only heard one side of the story. I take it you're not happy with Mommy's decision. <laughs> Talk about understatements. Do you know how much Granny's goodies is worth to our suitor interglobal snacks? Take a guess. Something with seven zeros after it? Times ten. Seven hundred million was the last offer. Oh, that's a good reason for you to want Ron to have for the recipe. Is he always as quick on his feet? Of course, I want Rhonda's half of the formula, but it's not like I'm being selfish about it. I'd call putting all your workers out of work pretty selfish. Want to say that? It's not much into details. Did she mention that if Granny's changes hands, stock options are triggered to every single worker in this company? So the guy who cleans the men's room ends up becoming a millionaire? Sorry we wasted your time, Mr. Goshen. Not at all. Oh, wait. Am I half of the formula's worth? When are we going to get that? 24 hours, pending a lawyer's instructions. We'll be in touch. This stuff will kill you. What? I guess you're not afraid of germs. There are worse things to fear. My associates have loaned you a great deal of money, Bernard. And now they want it back. Just give me a few more days, I swear it. <laughs> See, the problem is, Bernie, we have trust issues with you. You said your sister would sell. All she needed was... You'll see. We'll make enough on this interglobal deal to cover my debts and then some. I just need 48 hours. Make it 24. And I won't have to throw you into a vat of... What's the gnarliest stuff you got out there? That would be the boiling caramel. Boiling caramel it is. It's the wrong way. But are you sure that turning down into global is the best decision? Let's see. Bernard gave you the whole sales pitch. Stock options, bonuses, everyone keeps their jobs. Something like that? Yes. Yes, it's true. Everyone keeps their jobs if they move to Dusseldorf. Interglobal's headquarters. Matt. He might have left that part out. No, he didn't tell me either. I guess I'm just some dumb little dilettante. I guess Mom thought so, too. I'm sure your mom will be very proud of you. What one? We've got one half the formula approaching from the east and the other half approaching from the west. Happy siblings all set? <laughs> Happy's right. He hasn't had this much fun since mommy's funeral. Hey, quick, you ready on your end? Yeah.
city. You want us to keep both halves of the recipe for you. If those maniacs after it, we can't think of anywhere else it would be safe. Temporarily, of course. Stick them in your undies. We're out of the candy business. Your mother's little publicity stunt nearly prevented us from doing our job. You can't turn us down. We're under contract to protect the damn thing. We're. Our contractual obligations ended when we delivered each of you your half. See, technically that's not true. See, VIP hereby agrees to take all reasonable measures to ensure the safety and security of aforementioned recipe. It's not really safe and secure yet. Thanks, Kay. You're welcome. Ow! Please. Just for a few more days. So we can make a more permanent arrangement. We, we do have a contract, guys. Fine. Two days. That lame heist attempt you pulled today scared the hell out of Rhonda. He's holding both halves of the formula. Of course I get a copy of my half. Then you just have to get hers back. Actually, going to VIP was my idea. Soon we'll have her half as well as my own. How do you plan on doing that? I was counting on your help. <laughs> Quick. Release the lady and let her walk to me. Infy cell instead of a prison hospital. Well, aren't you the brave little soldier? Can't you see there's two of us? You're right. The odds are in my favor. Look out! Checking out every snitch I know. Nothing. All right. I'm in the marina. See if I can pick up any signs of that sedan. <sighs> Kay's got Interpol on the uh, description of your bad guy. Thanks, man. Hold on. It's quick. What's the deal? I know. I'm happy to hear your voice. Rhonda, you okay? Just a little shaken up. Can you pick me up? Sure. Where are you? They threatened me plenty, but they didn't hurt me. So let me guess. They couldn't hurt you because you have the formula. But they'll be back oh. for it, and you better give it up or else. That's exactly right. Mm. All right, thanks. Guys, Bernard made a 9 a.m. meeting at the factory. No kidnap attempt on him. So Rhonda's being strong-armed while Bernie's untouched. So he's got... Mmm. He's not half as bad as his friend at the factory. My face recognition program just spit something out. The thug's name is Slavin, and he's an enforcer for the Oblonsky mob. I, I told you Bernard had a money problem. Maybe, maybe there's a connection. Well, whatever it is, you're not safe until your baby brother's put in his place. All right, my heart's in the right place. I'll go with you. Could I go home and rest? Um, they just let me go. They're not going to come back from me quite yet. Johnny? Hey, don't worry. Full Ducati escort to the front door. Hello. Sorry, traffic. You know, it's not nice to keep people waiting. Especially when they're the people who can kick your sorry ass into jail. For what? Putting too much sugar in people's diets? This pal of yours? Kidnapped your sister. Oh, my God. Where is she? What, what, what did they want? You know, for a second there, I actually believed he cared. Which is quite a stretch, considering you're this bad boy's friends. Well, what's a nice round figure? Fifty million. Look. 
I admit I owe them money. I admit they've come to see me. I admit that I'd love for my dear, sweet, ignorant sister to give me her half of the formula so that I can get out of debt. But look at it. Go back two generations, and he's a slithering one south creature. He doesn't take orders from me. Well, then you better find a way to pay him back. And soon. Because if he touches Rhonda again, you're a dead man. Let's get out of here. Hey, I'm starting to work. No problem. I've got to lose another day before they come for the formula and kill me, right? Listen, I won't let that happen. What you've done for me means a lot. When Mom died, I wasn't sure who I could turn to. I'm glad it was you. So am I. But we have to get real. Forever. So what, what do you do? Give up? In a way. It's not that I want to do with grannies eventually, but... For now, what if I just did nothing? What if I went away for a while? Took the formula with me? If Bernie and his goons can't find me, they can't make me sell, right? Without my half of the formula, all Bernie has is a piece of paper. You know you're starting to sound like him? Bernie means well. No, 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 no not that. Uh, what you just said, Bernie. Always used to be Bernard. Bernie is what he calls himself. Admit it. Soft spot. <laughs> what can I say? This whole thing has me turning to mush. <laughs> Let me run away to some faraway island till this whole thing blows over. Hey. You don't have to run away. I need to. Don't you see? It's the best way to keep the company intact. Besides, I'll be back. Tasha, I'm here. Tasha, I'm glad I found you in. Are you working for Rhonda Goshen? You could say that. She's with Quick as we speak. But you have to see. All right, I'll be right over. Tasha Dexter. Tasha Dexter. Identity confirmed. Quick Williams. Quick Williams. Identity confirmed. I don't get it. What are we looking at? Well, a good Samaritan with a video camera brought this in. He was concerned about car thefts on the street, so he set this up and had it run. I saw the press coverage of the uh, Goshen Formula handoff, so I knew you were on the case. Which case is that? You're about to see. Rhonda. If you know anything about this, we could use your help. When was this taken? Yesterday, late afternoon. You said something about Quick being with her now? Somebody's mistaken. 
Big time. Yeah. Rhonda, it's me. I got the goods. I knew I could count on you. So, how about I come up and uh, make sure everything's locked up tight? No, no. Um, don't come up. I... I know this is hard for you to understand, but, um... I was crying my eyes out, waiting for you, thinking of everything that's happened, and... Well, you know how us girls... Why don't I freshen up, and, um, I'll meet you downstairs. Okay. That's how you want it. There she is. Well, I guess this is it. It depends. I want you to tell me where you're going. That's the only way I'll know you're safe. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Long enough. You're really disgusting, you know that? I'll take that. Okay, so we're even. Not now the party is complete. You got what you want, let go of me! You use these guys to dispose of Rhonda and thought they let you walk free? Where is she? Sweet. A family reunion. What are they gonna do with us? Don't worry about it. I'll get you out of this. A regular knight in shining armor. Shut up, Bernard. I'd listen to the lady if I were you. Like it matters. We verify what you gave us. Then bye-bye. Hey, you know, it's gonna look a little disappearing at once. I don't think so. The way you've been coming on to little Miss Goshen here, I'd bet money you were ready to party down. You know, you shouldn't get behind the wheel if you've had so much to drink. I knew something was off. You calling yourself Bernie? Your hands? Plus, you don't smell so great. Yeah, get over it. You know, you know you wanted me. Lady and gentlemen, thank you for your honesty. Checked out. And now... So will you. You are the designated driver. Could have sold the company and retired wealthy. I'd rather go out this way. Smart sis. Remember, I warned you. What would happen if they touch Rhonda again? Oh, right. I'm a dead man. News flash. So are you. At least you get to go out drunk. This is where Grisby's Good Samaritan shot the video. I count two on the streets. Nice to know what we're up against inside. On it.
I'll get the car. You know, it's hard to quarrel and drive at the same time when you've had as much to drink as you. Me? What about our host? You! Good thing I didn't kiss you, you'd be dead now. Do you honestly think I wanted to kiss you? Johnny, you in? Can't talk right now. Dude, I'm telling you, that's a 61 caddy. Yeah, I know. Hey! Who's that? No, no, no. This is better. This is what the street line fit. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's a little too Oh, my God. It's Johnny. My bad, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Hey, baby. It's my man, Johnny. How you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Well, you're gonna see me lay next to you on a slab if you don't shut up. You don't have to yell at me. You don't have to yell at me. So let me ask you something. What? Ron is a good looking woman, right? That's right. So, if someone were to look just like her. Uh huh? Oh, hell, you can't look being fooled. Whatever you say, just keep it down, right? See? <laughs> ah, see? My man Johnny agrees with me. Mm. Tasha, this might be a good time. This guy's too good at... Hey, guys. That's good, Johnny. Get your butt. Hey, Johnny. Get in here, guys. We need your help. Let's go. Oh, Johnny, that's that. Oh, well, you can... That's fine. Hey there, sweet little one. Let's see if we can get these untied. Looking for a fair fight? Get him, guys. Come on. I was trying to keep this simple, but now it looks like I'm going to have to dispose of you the old-fashioned way. Hey, what's this on the floor? Who wants it first? Nice dress, man. How did I do? My knight in shining armor. Well, nobody could count on you. You had me wrapped around your finger, didn't you? Just trying to make a buck. Oh, wouldn't hit a girl, would you? Good look for you. I have lots of boyfriends where you're going. <coughs> now I am back to being drunk. <laughs> <laughs>